Everyone who plays Rust has asked themselves at least once, how can I keep my loot the safest? And the most reasonable answer to that question would be to make a base. But have you ever asked, what keeps the base itself up and safe? Yes, it's the tool cupboard. Undeniably the most important deployable in the whole game. But some people may not understand how the TC really works, therefore leaving some exploitable flaws in their builds. In this video, we will be explaining everything you need to know about the TC and showcase some ways of exploiting its perks. Building privilege is one of the two things a TC provides to your build. Basically, when you place down a TC, it provides an area of building privilege around the structure it's placed in. Within that area, only players who have authorized on the TC by pressing E on it are able to build, upgrade, place and pick up wires, deployables and window bars or glass. Except for ladders and twig floors, everyone can build those even without building privilege. So what building privilege does is that it prevents other players from griefing your base by walling off your doors for example, or picking up your deployables. Building privilege also prevents high walls from decaying. The flame turret and shotgun trap don't have a way to authorize on them, it will shoot anyone who doesn't have building privilege within that area. Now how far does building privilege of 1TC reach you may ask? Well as opposed to how it used to be a couple of years back, 1TC doesn't provide a set area of building privilege, but rather covers the whole structure it's placed on and extends a few meters outside of the edge of the structure, both on the vertical and horizontal axes, taking the shape of it. That includes everything linked to the foundation the TC is placed on, and everything linked to that and so on. But if one foundation per se is not linked to the TC foundation, then building privilege won't extend to that and won't take the shape of it and radiate from its edges because it will be considered a standalone structure. Think of it like electric wires, with building privilege being electricity, it won't go through if a wire gets cut off from the rest of the circuit. It is also worth mentioning that you can only place a TC if the area doesn't have building privilege. Now, before we move on, I would like to know when each of you started playing Rust. Leave a comment that contains I started playing Rust and we will be choosing a few people to win some nice Rust skins. We will be announcing them in a few days. There are a few ways you can utilize how building privilege works to your advantage, exploit it let's say, and we will get to that at the end of the video after speaking about upkeep and decay. If you didn't know it, in Rust, every build structure or deployable decays with time. What that means is that whenever a structure is built, it starts losing health points periodically until it gets fully destroyed after a certain amount of time, which varies depending on the material type it is upgraded to. Here's the time it takes for every material to decay. There is one thing to keep in mind about decay, it always starts from the outer layer of the structure for each material type. So if a base is fully upgraded to stone and is not upkept, then the core won't lose HP until all the outer layers are fully broken, so the entire base won't just break down within the time it takes for stone to decay. But don't worry, the tool cupboard can stop your base from decaying if you put the necessary resources inside of it. When you access the TC storage, it will show you the amount of resources required to prevent the base from losing HP for 24 hours. Those resources will get consumed over time. When you are within TC range, you will notice an upkeep timer above your health bar, which indicates the time it will take for the first material type to start decaying from the base. So if the TC runs out of one material type required for the upkeep, it will tell you that the building is decaying, but in reality, only the structures made of that material will decay. And again, just like building privilege, upkeep only extends to the structures that are linked somewhere to the TC. So if you leave a slight gap and place a foundation, it won't be upkept nor added to the upkeep cost of the base. Now that we are done explaining how it works, let's move to some tips and tricks. Number 1. You can stack TCs. With the way building privilege works, you can place a second TC as soon as the first one's building privilege disappears. What this means is that there will be an area where building privilege is gonna be provided by both TCs. 
What this will help with is that if one of the TCs gets destroyed, the other one will keep providing building privilege to that area. You can make a multi-TC base by building outer TCs, then dragging some foundations right next to the base without linking them to the base like shown here. Number 2. When a TC gets destroyed, if it has resources in it, those resources get used to upkeep the base for up to 24 hours if it has enough. The excess of resources beyond 24 hours of upkeep is what can be looted. Number 3. You can use glass windows as doors to reinforce your base, since you can pick them up with a hammer if you have building privilege. But if someone gets to your TC, they can also pick them up, so keep your TC the safest while using this. Sometimes external TCs stacked can also help if your TC gets destroyed. And by the way, if you guys want to practice in the game and play at your own pace, alone or with friends, you can rent a Rust server from serverblend.com. They offer the best performing servers at the best prices, and also a very easy to set up interface meant for beginners. A link to their website is in the description. Well, that was all for today's video. I hope you guys learned something or just enjoyed sitting through it overall. Please leave a comment with your thoughts on this type of video. We are planning to make more videos like this one, so let us know if you enjoyed it by commenting and liking the video. Thank you for watching.